So far, in our walk through Eve's sin, we have seen that Adam and Eve were meant to stay within the Edenic Covenant by enjoying all of God's provision and grace in the garden. We've also seen that Eve was trying to provide for herself at the tree what God alone was meant to provide. Now, I want us to see why this is such a big deal. Why was Eve's chief sin not eating a piece of fruit, but trying to save herself? And in order to explain this, I want us to see how Eve was pre-breaking three of the Ten Commandments. The first commandment states, you shall have no other gods before me. Eve preemptively broke this commandment by placing herself as a mini-god before the one true God. God's provision in the garden in all its fullness was not enough. She needed to provide for herself a new and better kind of food. God's command and revealed will was insufficient to disclose all the truth necessary for her happiness, she thought. She needed to discover new revelation for herself, and ultimately, she could not put her fate and the fate of her husband in the hands of this kind of a God. She needed to save herself and her family. God was not enough, so she would be her own God. The second commandment she broke before it was written was, you shall not make for yourself a carved image. This tree became the carved image of her own making. She did not need to take a whittler's knife to its bark in order to fashion it into an idol within her mind. This tree with its wisdom-giving fruit had been cast and forged and enshrined within the temple of her heart. This tree would be the means to her happiness. This tree would be the God that would provide for her. This tree would be the avenue of her blessing. Eve committed idolatry. The third command Eve proactively broke was the tenth and final commandment, you shall not covet. Coveting is a special form of wanting what you don't have. It's more than wanting. It's a want that sets up as a supreme desire in your heart. It is a want that says, I cannot be happy without that. It is a want that wires your heart towards sin. Eve coveted wisdom. Eve coveted the ability to earn her own blessing. Eve coveted self-righteousness. However, the blessing of eternal life with God is at the disposal of God alone. Those who seek to earn it themselves covet that which belongs to the Almighty. Eve's chief sin in eating the fruit was not breaking the rules, but displacing God as her only source of provision, blessing, righteousness, and life. Her sin was self-preservation, self-blessedness, and self-righteousness. She was a covetous, idolatrous mini-God. Here in Eve, we have the first person who attempted self-salvation. Someone who tries to save themselves through grit instead of trusting in God for grace. Here in the garden, we have the first blueprint for every single human who has tried to take what isn't theirs, the right to fulfill our deepest desire for life with God by obeying his commands. All human beings as Adam and Eve's offspring have picked up this nasty family trait. Instead of Adam and Eve's children being solely made in God's image and becoming like him, the Bible tells us that when Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, after his own image. Adam's likeness and image are now carried in us. Our hearts are still wired incorrectly. Now, this doesn't erase the image of God, but it does add an unwanted element, trusting in our own image rather than the image of God. We now want to save ourselves. We want to play some role, however major or minor, in the grand story of our destinies turning out for the better. This is why we are constantly plagued with feelings of inadequacy. I'm not good enough and insufficiency. I'm not doing enough. It's why we have such a hard time accepting the free gift of salvation offered by Jesus as a truly free gift. We want to earn it. We all want to satisfy our deep desire to live with God by earning that life for ourselves. And this warped desire lies at the bottom of every single sin you and I commit. The reason we sin is not because we aren't focused enough on doing good and avoiding bad, but because we aren't focused fully enough 
on how Jesus has done all the good and avoided all the bad for us. We sin because our affections for the gospel are weak, while our affections for our own provision are strong. We need the gospel to rewire our hearts. Hey, my name is David Bowden with Spoken Gospel. It's the vision of Spoken Gospel to speak the gospel out of every corner of scripture. And one of the ways we do this is by these short Bible teachings. And uh, you just saw one inspired by my book, Rewire Your Heart. If you want to order that book, you can click the link provided here. And this is actually not the first session in this series. Uh, if you want to see the first session, you can actually go check out our reading plan on the YouVersion Bible app by clicking the link provided. And if you want to learn more about our ministry and how to support us, we would invite you to click this link as well and if you want to be alerted when we have new videos coming out we would please invite you to subscribe to our channel thanks so much